Welcome into IATD TV and today we've got a fantastic little instalment for you. Today is the sneak peek of Rise of the Duelist. So we bought two boxes to get a nice early look-see and see what we can pull from the new set. Plus, Showcase Comics in Lethbridge, Alberta also hooked us up with four OTS packs just for a little extra fun. So we'll start off with those and then we'll move into Rise of the Duelist. Haven't opened any of these OTS packs before so this will be interesting to see what is in there. Scrap Golem, very nice. And a Dimensional Prison, Formula Synchron. Bahamut Shark. I think that might be the first copy of Bahamut Shark I've ever owned. Gravity Collapse, Goblin King, Spiral Gear Drone. Last but not least from the OTS. Bottomless Trap Hole was a common, that's a unique looking card right there. And another Scrap Golem. Wraps up our OTS. Now we'll take our trusty knife blade. Give it a little cut. And we'll see what our sneak beak boxes have in store for us. I mean, I suppose everybody's looking for three tactical talents. I suppose that's the card everybody wants to see. Me personally, while I would like to see it, the guy of the Fierce Knight stuff uh, and the retrains and support that comes in this set is uh, really what I'm about in this set. Anyway, let's start us off with our new core set. Dark Lord Nurgle, Melfi Mummy, Dogmatica Nation, Thunderhand, and we start with an Ultra. Ice Dragon's Prison. Very nice. Machina Savinger. Infernoble Knight Astolfo. And another Infernoble Knight. The wife is looking for the Melfi cards. I'm going to keep those aside. And we'll keep that tasty little Ultra that we pulled as well. And then we have an Abyss Actor, Malfi Playhouse, another Mummy, Curse of Dragon, Revenge Rally, Spiral Fusion, Malfi Pony, and another Infernoble Knights. And next back we have an unauthorized boot up device, Dark Lord Uprising, Dogmatic and Nexus, another Infernoble Knight. The Infernoble Knight Equip Spell, Math Mech, Spiral Fusion, and Drill Driver Vespento, or Vespinato. <coughs> and then in our next set, Fury of Karyushin, Galloping Gaia. Ooh, very nice, folks, very nice. One of the absolute best secret rares you can pull. Not the best, it's not Tactical Talents, but Forbidden Droplet is probably number two. Ooh, very nice. We'll get a sleeve on there. Always nice to see a secret. Always nice to see one of the good secrets in a box too. Started us off nicely. Dragoon, uh, Dracoon Lamp, Melfi Fenny, Fright for Repair, what's that, Red Time Reviver Emitter, it's an odd name, we did get another Melfi card, so that'll keep the wife happy, move into our next pack, Melfi Playhouse, Linker Bell, that's cute, Melfi Tag, we get some focus, Dogmatica, Aiden the Enlightened, Melfi Hide and Seek, and so far so good, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of the Melfi cards, which uh, like I say I'm looking for, not with me personally, but uh, hopefully we'll see some Gaia cards as well, our next Ultra is Lifeless Leafish. 
Interesting. We have a two ultras and a secret out of this right hand side. And then we have Rampaging Smash Tank Rhino Saber for our super. Dark Lord, Abyss Actor, another Playhouse, another Mummy, and our super is Melfi Catty. Red Potten, it's a weird looking card. And we have another Abyss Actor, another Melfi Tag, Spiral Reborn, the first Dark Lord. Melfi Rabby. Keep that aside. Two packs to go on the right. Melfi Tag starts us off. Galloping Gaia. Infernoble Knight Ogier. The Stolfo. Potter and Edge Msi. And final pack on the right hand side. Underhand, Yuria Karyushin, Speed Ride Block and Roll. I like that. We'll move into the left hand side. See what we have in store for us here. Infernoble Knight Oliver, Iron Punch. I'm just going to get that next up. We have a Dogmatic and Nexus, or Nexus, sorry. Linker Bell, Blizzard, DD Evil, Hide and Seek, and an Edge Imp Scythe. Spiral Reborn, Melfi Fenny, Boot Up Device, Yaminabe Party. Rabby and another Infernoble Knight there. Let's see in our next pack. We've got another Infernoble Knight, Magius, Morgus, Fenny, Dolphin, Soldier Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Very nice as our super there. Rabby. Now about does for that pack. We go with a Dark Lord Uprising, Dogmatic and Nexus, Dark Lord Necco, Redeemable Jar. <laughs> the artwork's pretty cool on that, not gonna lie. A few packs on the left to go. We've seen two Ultras and a Secret so far. Fright Fur Repair. And there's our next Ultra. We have Win, the Wind ch Channeler. Very nice. And we have Melfi Mummy, Dogmatic Nation, Thunder Hand, Ancient Warriors Link. And that does for that. Have a Dark Lord Uprising, Melfi Fenny, DD Dog, Hide and Seek, Creep Me Some Focus. And we've got three packs to go. We've got a DD Dice, got a Dice, the Dice, even, you know what I meant. And our secret rare is Fallen. Of Albaz. Very nice, we got a sleeve on that. It was a secret. <laughs> and there we go. Fallen of Albaz. Two packs to go, three even. We got the Forbidden Droplet as the first secret. I think that was the really tasty one out of the uh, this particular box.
And then I think with two packs to go, we've got a Fenny, a Deep Sea City. And then our final pack. Yields us for our Ultra Ricker Queen Strenner. There you jolly well go. So I'll move into our second and final pack of what has been a very fun opening so far. That Forbidden Droplet was a tasty card to pull. And just to crack into some OTS is always fun. And anytime you're cracking into Yu-Gi-Oh! product ahead of the official release date is a good time by me. We started right, let's go left. Left one on the bottom had an ultra rare. Let's see what this one has. Left one on the bottom had an ultra rare. Are we uh, seeing a map? Seliger the Luminous Luna, Luminous Lunar Dragon. These names are getting harder and harder to say, people. And uh, do let me know down in the comments what cards you're looking for out of this set. What cards uh, you're most looking to pick up. Whether or not you're going to be getting the singles or if you're going to go whole hog and go crack into a box. I would say if you can buy a box or two, definitely buy a box or two from your local OTS store. It's definitely time to help keep them open if we can during these tough times. And a Melfi Pony, I think that's the first one we got of that. And then a Fluffle Dolphin. Melfi Playhouse. And our secret rare is Titanic Lad, the Ash Dragon. Interesting. We will get a sleeve on that. Can we see a three tactical talents in our last, last secret rare? That would be tasty. That would be nice. Would the... Uh, Give a nice end to this video. But, I mean, the Forbidden Droplet's pretty tasty as well. I mean, if you if you didn't pull the Tactical Talents and you said you came away with the Forbidden Droplet, I don't think many people would cry for you. And rightly so. Seen too many of these Fury of the Karyushins of late. Kawaki Meiru Supplier. Very nice. I looked at this for my fossil deck. Don't think I'm going to run it. Maybe read it again, but from when I first read it, I didn't think it was something I was going to put in. Another redeemable jar. Melfi Playhouse. Linker Bell. Melfi Puppy. I haven't got one of those yet. Three packs on the left to go. We've seen an Ultra and a Secret. And there is a Gaia the Magical Knight in Super. Another one that I wanted to sell, so happy with that. I haven't seen a lot of the Gaia cards out of these two boxes, really. Maybe they're harder to pull than it looks. Last pack on the left. And that about does it for the left. Let's go with the right. I think we've at least a couple of ultras and maybe a secret to go. Performer Pal, Odd Eyes, Metal Claw. Another Dark Lord Uprising. The first Dark Lord. Right next. Uh, next pack. It's a Melfi Playhouse. Gaia the Magical Knight. Excellent. And a Melfi Pony there. A 
and then Melfi Mummy, Melfi Puppy, all the Melfies. And then Fright Fur, Dragoon Lamp, Guy of the Fierce Knight Origin, very nice, starting to see some of those Gaia cards. Dice Dice, Linkabel, and our Ultra Rare is Gizmek Okami, the Dreaded Deluge Dragon, very nice. Then unauthorized boot up, Blizzard, Red Potan. Not too many packs left. Melfi Catty, Melfi Rabby. Looks like we got four packs, including the one in my hand. And our final secret, so no tactical talents. Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon. Fright Fur Repair. Rampage and Rhino Smasher. Two packs. Dogmatic Nation. Infernoble Knights. And our last pack. Yields us a Melfi of the Forest. So that about wraps it up for the pack opening. We got some good stuff. I think uh, the highlight of the pack opening would probably be Forbidden Droplet. Very nice little effect negation there. And uh, that about wraps it up for IATD TV today. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. Give it a like, a comment, a subscribe and a share if you thought it was worthy. And uh, we'll sign off from here. Peace out.